First we preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Greetings and salutations. In this video, I want to show you how to bake yellowtail snapper fillet. This is wild caught. I got three quarters of a pound at Publix for eighteen seventy one. dollars If you want to know the difference between baking and roasting, baking is basically in the oven and it's anything below 400 degrees. If it's roasting, that means it's above, it's like more of a dry heat and it's above 400 degrees. So that is the difference. Yellowtail snapper has got more of a rougher, tougher coat on it than let's say red salmon or codfish. And so that's a big difference. And it's supposed to have like a mild taste, but it can be very, very yummy. And it's native to Florida, so a lot of people in Florida, especially in Key West, will, will catch yellowtail. All right, so let's go ahead and spice her up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it at 400 degrees and we're going to cook it to, from 15 minutes to 20 minutes long on the center oven, center oven rack. The reason I do about 15, 16 minutes is I don't want it to be too tough. If you want to go a more crispy, crispy type of texture, flaky, uh, do it for about 20 minutes. Bake it at 400 degrees for that long. So let's go ahead and put our marinate, our filet. And of course, we're going to put olive oil on it. Now, you could, you could substitute butter. All right, so let's get that in there really good. And of course, you can wash it as well before. I didn't wash it. Um, I'm not too picky, but if you want to wash the filet first, by all means, do so. I'm really looking forward to eating this. And you got to have salt. Pepper, thyme leaves, the Kanye pepper, brush, I'll go ahead and mix that in there really well. And we can't forget lemon juice. Now you could bake any side along with this for 15 minutes. You could do broccoli, asparagus. I'm going to go ahead and do black beans because I do love beans. Okay, I'm going to bake mine for about 17 minutes. Center rack. All right, let's check her out. Yummy. Okay, we're going to let this cool off and then I'm going to try it. Okay, it's had a chance to cool down. Let's put a little bit of garnish on it. Wow, at even 17 minutes, it's still very, very moist. Wild caught yellowtail snapper. Very good. It's not too strong, it's mild, but it's got that flaky skin on it. And those seasons with the cayenne pepper and salt and pepper and thyme leaves. Very, very good. Let's definitely go out and get it. 